Hello and welcome back to our 8 Guns. Today we're taking a look at the Mammoth Magnums from Game Boy. Yes, today we're taking a look at the Mammoth Magnums from Game Boy, uh, and we've got quite a lot to go through. So, we have got both the steel and the lead versions, as well as the 3.5 inch and the 3 inch versions as well. Just before we go any further, uh, if you're planning on shooting some of these, please check you've got the right chamber size in your gun, and your gun is proof to handle the pressure, especially on the big steel loads. So, according to Game Boy, these are a high performance load, which offer high knockdown power, they also claim these are capable of clean kills at up to 90 yards, uh, which is impressive. They put some of this high performance down to the high performance powders uh, they bring in from America, which are double based. They are all available in a plastic rod only, and you can get the 3 inch in 50 grams of lead uh, with a choice of 3 or BB size shot. You can also get the 3.5 inch leads in 63 gram loads uh, with a choice of number 1 or BB size shot. Uh, and both of those have muzzle velocities of 1400 feet per second. Now moving into the steel loads, uh, in the 3 inch you get a 36 gram load in options of 1, 3 or 4 shot. And in the 3.5 inch steel you get a load of 42 grams and a choice of 1, 3 or BB. Uh, but all the steel loads have a muzzle velocity of 1460 feet per second. So if you've shot these before, please let me know what you think of them in the comments, or if you think there's a better Magnum load out there, please let me know as well. So, as always, we're going to get these cut open and see what the components are like, and then compare uh, the different sizes. Uh, unfortunately, we can't do a pattern test with these today, but we are definitely going to go down to Milrod Country Sports and do a recoil test and see just how bad 3.5 inch Magnums kick. Before we do that, quick thank you to Shooting Sports UK for their ongoing support of the channel. Please go and look them up and see what they can do for you. Okay, let's get one cut open. Okay, so we're going to start with the lead uh, three inch. So a nice blue case, crimp closure, black text, which is quite nice. Uh, these are 20 mil of brass, and on the bottom, the game board and 12. Okay. Here we've got the lead three and a half inch. Red case on these, crimp closure the same, same sort of printing on the on the text. A um, bit less on the brass on these, only 16 mil of brass, but the same head stamp, game board on 12. Now onto the steel, pretty much the same as the lead ones, same crimp, same head stamp, same text. And then the steel three and a half inch. Uh, interestingly, not the same printing. Uh, it's it's sort of vertical as opposed to horizontal, but the same closures, same brass, different head stamps on these. So the lead is a game ball, and the steel is the four stars and the four twelves. Okay, right. Let's start cutting these open and see what's inside. Okay, that's zeroed. Now we're going to start with the 3 inch lead. BB size shot. And that's coming in at 50.7, which is ideal for a 50 gram load. The shot looks really good. Everything nice and Uniform, doesn't look to be anything misshapen, so that's really good. Okay, zero that again. Uh, this is the lead three and a half inch. And this is uh, size one. 65 grams, which is even more than expected. So this is a 63 gram load and you get an extra two grams. So, very nice. Yeah, I've got some possibly misshapen. Perhaps I'll cut through that when I opened it. Maybe not. 
there does just seem to be on quite a few of them. So yeah, not quite spherical, but not bad. Well, round enough. Okay. Now onto the three inch steel, zeroed. And we've got 36 grams, so 36.6, and these are 36 gram loads, so that's a little bit more than you'd expect, so that's good. These look really good. Nothing misshapen, looks very nice. Zero again. And here's the three and a half inch steel. Okay, 44.2 for a 42 gram load, a little bit more. Again, these have been really good, so we've got a little bit more uh, shot than is advertised in each one. And just the same as the three inch, these look really good. Pretty flawless, um, really good looking shot. Okay, now let's take a look at the, the wads. Okay, so this is the three inch lead. Uh, and this is this is like a, a steel um, wad. You know, there's no uh, crumples on there. These aren't connected, these are all separated, they're, they're the fins. Okay, interesting. Let's take a look at the Three and a half inch. Here we go. Okay, same again. This looks like a, a steel load. Uh, there's no crumple zone in there. Seems to be a, a solid plastic in the middle there. Nice skirt to expand though to keep the gas seal. And again, these aren't crimped. These just are loose. Okay, now onto the three inch steel. Same again, I think that could be. That's identical, I think, to the lead one. I really did expect them to be different, but they are the same. And then the three and a half inch steel. And again, these are exactly the same as the three and a half inch lead ones. So yeah, that's really shocked me. That is, I, I did expect to see um, a crumple zone in the lead and not in the steel, uh, but there you go. Okay, let's clear some of this away and we'll look at the powder. Okay, so this is the uh, three inch lead. And we're looking at 24.8 grains. Nice black flake. Judging by the, the color of this, I think this could be um, S-I-P-E-N, uh, double base flake or quite possibly um, it could be S4N, um, it does have that colour to it. Okay, let's try the next one. So this is the three and a half inch lead. Okay, and we've got 29.4 grains, and that's an identical powder. 
Now onto the steel. I can see a trend. Yep. So 26.8 grains. Exactly the same. Again. And three and a half inch steel. That's pretty much out. A little bit stuck together. Uh, so 35 grains in these. Um, again, all the same powder. Okay, let's take these down to uh, Milroyd Country Sports and give them a shoot. Uh, we're going to start off with the steel shot 3 inch. They kick, but not too bad. Then we're going to try the, the lead 3 inch. A little bit more. And now the three and a half inch steel. A little bit more. <laughs> Let's try it again. Let's try the three and a half inch lead. So what do I think of these cartridges? Um, they recoil, seriously. They're three and a half inch magnums, of course they're gonna. Um, but I've, I've watched a lot of other YouTube videos where people complain about the, the power of the recoil of three and a half inches. It really isn't that bad. I wouldn't want to shoot a round of clays, you know, do a hundred of these at a time. I'd be pretty tender afterwards. Um, but in the realms of reality, you're gonna use these for a ground game and, and wall fouling, where you're gonna shoot less than 10 in a whole day. Um, so really, there's no problem with recoil. Having used the three inch uh, leads myself in the field, uh, I can absolutely say they are great performers and offer really clean kills. Uh, and I can only assume the three and a half inches are gonna do exactly the same. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.